Welcome to Club Red. We've got a special edition of the Club Red for you here today. We have a guest, everybody. Our second guest of the show joins us. He was a star in the last season of Last Chance U Basketball, and he's Mark Adams' first commit to Texas Tech Basketball. K.J. Allen joins the show. We're excited to have you. K.J., welcome to the tailgate. How are you doing today, man? I'm doing well. How you guys doing? Yeah, we're doing we're doing great. We're excited to have you. We're excited to welcome you to Red Raider Nation. Uh, it's a big gift for us. So let's just get right into it, man. Let's not waste your time. We appreciate you taking the time out of your night to hop in on this tailgate. Uh, let's get into it. Let's get to know you a little bit basketball wise. So we've got a Rockets fan. We've got a Mavs fan and myself. I'm a LeBron fan. So I go where he goes. What's your basketball team, man? Who do you root for in the NBA? I'm pretty much just like you. I'm a LeBron fan, but there you I'm, go. I'm All a right. Lakers fan too. Okay, cool. he almost yeah, wore yeah. his LeBron shirt, but he was scared. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it might be a little too much LeBron. I got the photo, got the shirt. That might be too much. That might be overkill. <laughs> so, what have you always liked about LeBron? What's made you a big LeBron fan? Just how he like he controls his team and just a leader on the court and off the court as well. Yeah, yeah, he does it all, man. So KJ, when you're working on your game, you're trying to look for stuff, even watching the NBA, what player or players are you trying to look at and model your game after? Um, a player I try to model my game after is I would say Kobe Bryant. Okay. The way like how like how just uh, aggressive he is on offense and his defense. That Mamba mentality that everybody talks about. Yeah. I noticed so, that aggression a little bit in that in last year. Yeah, we, we were talking about it. We were watching the show, and we kept texting each other kind of during it watching. And we were like, man, this KJ dude just does everything. Like, he's always playing really hard. So you can see that in the way that you play basketball. So let's get right into the Last Chance You stuff, man. So what was it like being on the show? Was it weird having the cameras around you? What was it like? What was your – what's your takeaway from being on Last Chance You? Um, it was weird at first, like, just getting used to it. And then once, like, everybody was used to the cameras, it became natural. But it was just – it was a new feeling for everybody, just getting used to the cameras and just having them on you, like, all the time. Yeah, that's what I've always been curious because they're inside your locker room. They're inside your apartments. That must get kind of weird to have them, like, always around you. Yeah, it's like that. It's like a like a fly that follows you around. <laughs> they're, they're everywhere. Got to watch what you say all the time. Got to make sure you're <laughs> yeah. paying attention to what's going on. Hey, was Coach always that hyper? Or did he get a little more, a little extra when the cameras were on? <laughs> Coach, Coach is like that all the time. Cameras <laughs> on or off. He's very energetic. Yeah, I got that kind of takeaway from the show, man. He seems like a lot of fun to play for. What are your favorite things about Coach Mosley? Just how much he, he he loved the team and how he loves the game and his players and he just wants the best for everybody. So that's just a plus for me. Just how he cares so much about his players and his staff, like on the team. Yeah, one thing I've I've taken away from you know last chance you football was a lot of the coaches on there were kind of difficult, but he just seemed like a real cool guy, easy to root for, which made you know your whole team a lot easier to root for, knowing that you got a coach that that's you know, out there rooting for you guys, trying to make sure you get to where you need to go, you know? Yeah. Just, he was uh, basically, he was like, because all three coaches had like a role on the team. Yeah. And I feel like all of them did it, like their roles like very well. Yeah, they all seem like guys that I would want to play for. <laughs> would make you want to run through a brick wall. <laughs> <laughs> did you watch the show? Y'all see yeah. stuff? Yeah, I watched the show. Think, what do you think about it? Is it weird watching yourself and your team and all that? Yeah, it was like it was crazy just watching the show and just like being there and then like watching it like at home. It's like like we really went through all that stuff and like yeah. we're here now. It's just crazy. Yeah, I was like so, Brooks wanted to ask next, actually. 
Yeah, I was going to ask, you know, one of the things I found intriguing when I realized I was like, oh, yeah, this is going to be the COVID season. So what was it like going through that? What was it like having your season end just out of nowhere? Um, it was heartbreaking because, I mean, that was probably one of, like, the better UCLA teams that Coach had. And, like, yeah, we just felt like we had a good shot to win the championship. And just not to be able to play the last two games really, like, crushed our spirit. Yeah, that, that was interesting to me because as fans, you know, we were all waiting for the NCAA tournament to get started. And, you know, you knew it was a bummer for everybody. But to get the inside look, that had me emotional. Like, uh, watching Joe like lose it and cry i was i was i was in my feels too i was like man it, it just sucked because y'all had such a good team i wanted to see y'all make it all the way you know yeah i mean i feel like everything has our like time and everything's like meant like everything has a purpose it's meant to happen so i just we wasn't meant to win the championship that year i guess i guess well that's unfortunate but that's a good way of looking at it man yeah Dustin, you got something for him? Now let's get into some Texas Tech stuff. All right, yeah. So, uh, Brooks, yeah, you Dustin, go ahead. take it away. Me go? Yeah, you go ahead. So, kind of some more East L.A. and then Tech stuff. AJ, you had big role at East L.A. Um, what's your expectations coming to big Power 5 D1 good basketball program, like with practice, coaches, fans, games, anything and everything what's your expectations stepping up to a lot a big level basically just to just uh just give it like my best effort just go hard practice in the games be a good teammate and just have have a good time just with the team and with the fans and with the coaches basically just do my best yeah man so kind of back to last chance you stuff real quick, um, skipped over something. We noticed we've got some gamers on the show. So we noticed a lot of the time they're out there, they're interviewing you guys in your apartments and stuff. Y'all are all playing video games. What was y'all favorite game to play? Uh, it would have to be the 2K or Call of Duty, one of the two. Okay. I was going to say 2K because I've seen you tweeting out there some 2K stuff, but we know Arlie here is a is a big time gamer, so he's on the COD a lot. I try to play. I'm not as good as he is. He, uh, but you know that new season dropped today, so we'll be on. <laughs> but cool, cool. Uh, and then transition back to tech. <laughs> uh, so we we did have a question. You know, at the end of the show, you're committed to USC, and we're all kind of bummed out. We're like, man, that'd be cool to get KJ, and then all of a sudden shows up KJ Texas Tech. Well, you know, can you take us through what happened there and what led you from USC here to West Texas uh, and playing for Coach Adams? What was it about Coach Mark Adams and, and the staff that really got you interested in coming out to Texas Tech? I'm um, just seeing the opportunity and wasn't really working at USC. And my coach, um, new coach um, Adams, Mm -hmm. I knew how much of a good coach he was and how hard he works his players. And I just wanted that for myself, just to better myself as a player. So I've seen it was just the best decision to go to Texas Tech. So last year, were you at USC last year? I was at East LA last year. You were East still LA. at East LA? Okay. I wasn't sure on that because the COVID season ended and I wasn't sure if you had already gone to USC or if you were still waiting. Uh, yeah, at cool. the... I was still waiting for – actually, I'm still at East LA right now. I'm just finishing up school, so I'll get to Texas Tech. That's what I wanted to ask yeah. next. What's the plan for getting out here to Tech and Lubbock when you're coming out? Um, I should be out there mid-June out in Texas. Okay, cool. Cool. So, you know, JUCO gyms to D1, what do you think that transition is going to be like when you're, you know, you're playing in some pretty small gyms that – uh, in East LA, now you're playing in prime time, big stadiums. What do you think that's going to be like? That energy, especially you know after a year of COVID with no fans. Yeah, just I mean, I just I can't wait to be honest. Like I can't wait for the experience, just playing in front of a big crowd and with coaches on like big floor. Just it feels like it's a good like exciting experience. 
Like it's gonna be very competitive, and I just can't wait to have have that feeling. Yeah, that first dunk inside the USA when the crowd goes wild, that's gonna feel pretty nice, huh? <laughs> oh man, that's gonna be great. Yeah, man, we can fit <laughs> fifteen to sixteen thousand in our arena, and we're pretty rowdy and passionate about our team. So we'll be you'll have a lot behind you, man. Yeah. I love it. What all have you seen about Lubbock and Tech so far? I haven't really seen much. I did like a little bit of research on like the school and Lubbock, but so far, like everybody's saying great things about it, and I just can't wait to see it for myself. Yeah, we got a pretty nice fan base. Uh, I know that a lot of them were probably reaching out to you after we saw the that you committed to us. So. Uh, get ready. The crowd's going to be crazy. A lot of swag surfing, a lot of stuff like that. It's a pretty, pretty good time. So I, I think you're going to enjoy that atmosphere and definitely those facilities that we got. Yeah. Dustin, you got. Or, the, go ahead, KJ. Go ahead. Oh, I bet. No, I'm just saying for like, I just can't wait to be just out there in June, just like interacting with the fans and just playing basketball out there. Just can't wait for the experience. Yeah, I think you're going to be pretty amazed when you get out here in our uh, top of the line practice facilities going to be finished. And I saw some pictures out today that they're about to mount. A, about, it's about the length of a basketball court. That's just going to be screens. So it's going to be yeah. pretty sick. I think we got the best practice facility in the country. So ready for you to get in there, man. Yeah. But, yeah, so now you've reached D1 level. That's going to start out here soon. I'm guessing the dream is the NBA, right? Yes, the dream is the NBA. Well, it definitely definitely gets enhanced when you get, you know, some showtime on a big level like this. What, what kind of changes now that you kind of have that trajectory to where now it kind of seems a little more realistic? What, what goes into the effort, you know, on your end on – trying to make sure that dream becomes a reality here? Um, Pretty much just the same stuff, just working hard every day and uh, staying focused mainly, just not letting too much get to my head, just staying focused on the main goal, which is trying to make it to the NBA. Well, cool, man. We'll be rooting for you. We'll hope to see you in an NBA jersey uh, after a successful career at Texas Tech. We wanted to give you the chance uh, before we get out of here you said you hadn't heard much about Lubbock. Is there anything you want to know, places to eat? Is there any kind of food you like, uh, any places you like to go, activities you like to do? We got about 40-plus years of living in tech combined between all of us. Uh, so we, uh, we're we good people to ask. So feel free to let us know. <laughs> Where's, like, the – if you want to go, like, a popular place to eat, like, what's a popular place to eat out there? What, what kind of food do you like? What's your favorite type of food? Anything it'd be like burgers or like Italian food. Ooh, we got some good of each. So Orlando's is a pretty dang good Italian food place. There's also the Italian Garden, which is downtown. That's also a very good Italian place. Uh, Dustin, you got any wrecks? Uh, for burgers, I'd say go Cap Rock. Yeah, Cap Rock's mm. good. Spanky's, Spanky's right across from campus is good. Evie Mays. Oh yeah, and, and if you want, place, yeah, so don't you worry. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. On too many pounds there, though. Man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't you worry. I'm pretty sure Coach Adams will hook y'all up with Evie May's Barbecue at some yeah. point. It's like one of the top barbecue places in all of Texas, so uh, that'll get you uh, set up immediately. Uh, other places, Chimmy's. Chimmy's is a uh, is a college favorite. I'm sure you will uh, have some time there don't we won't tell this to coach adams or, or anybody but chimmy's is kind of a popping spot um i'm trying to think of anything else that might be blue sky blue sky is a good burger joint that we got we got there's a lot of good places to eat a lot of your coaches a lot of your teammates who have spent a couple of years here will i'm sure hook you up with that <laughs> um that was probably the main thing that I want to ask you guys because I know there's no in and out out there, so I was like, What else? Nah, what is the the water burger people, <laughs> yeah, you'll like water burger though. Water burger is pretty good, but I'm sure there's places that you'll be traveling with the team that'll have in and out, so you'll still be able to get your fix every now and then. <laughs> good. 
but yeah, I think, you know, you'll be covered on food out here. You'll be covered with people. People are nice. People are kind. Everybody will be rooting for you. Be wanting to get to know you. So Lubbock's a good time. Tech's a good time. We all support our Red Raiders and we'll be at that USA screaming and hollering and cheering on those dunks and blocks and everything that you're going to provide to the team this year. Uh, last thing, if you just want to let Texas Tech na uh, Nation know what they can expect out of you this upcoming season, and then we can let you get on your way, man. Well, one thing is uh, just a good guy on the team, somebody that's just going to provide energy and hopefully get you guys a lot of dunks. Yeah. We like the sound of that. <laughs> All right, man. Well, we really appreciate you taking out the time uh, to stop by and hang out with us for a little bit. Like we said, we're looking forward to seeing you in that red and black out there on the court. So um, keep up the good work. Hopefully your move to Lubbock here in the next couple of months is smooth and you get some of that good Texas eating out here. All right. Yes, sir. Thanks for coming All right, out, KJ. KJ. All right. Thank you. Yep. Take it easy, man. You too.